just like, ah, oh, everything is great, I'm making genius every day, oh, look at me go. Um, if you're not having doubt on what you're doing and, and, and you're not having doubt in the things that you're creating, or if you're looking at what you're making and you're, you're, you're thinking to yourself, like if you're not thinking to yourself that you can do better every single time and you're not progressing as a person, like you're not progressing as a creator, and uh, if, you, if, if you don't look back at the things that you make and you don't think to yourself, that, wow, that was really something terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the next day, you, you do just a little bit better. And, and just to combine that with the last question of like, uh, how do I stay grounded? Is I look back at the old things that I do all the time. I, I look back at my first videos and I see uh, a young kid who had so much ambition and had no idea where he was going. Um, and I always try to remember that when I started out, you know, I didn't seek out to be the best YouTuber in the world. I, I just sought out to be the best YouTuber I could be. And I'm still growing to this day. Like, for those of you who are here for my little acoustic set in the beginning, like, that's a new thing for me. I play... Stop looking at me! Well, don't be fooled, it was mediocre at best. But it was, uh, I replayed, I replayed, I, I resang Thinking Out Loud, and even comparing, like, to the video that I a month ago, I've progressed so much, and I, I can now look at that video and be like, oh, God, that was awful. But that's how I know I'm getting better. And so, so long as I keep doing that every day, I'll always get better, and I'll always be happy with what I do. Yeah, um, for the one that I didn't get to answer for about the channel, I don't have one. That <laughs> <laughs> thing doesn't. But um, with regard to self doubt and do doubting what you can do and things like that, it's like Mark said, it's an ever going process. There's always doubt. Even before I stepped on stage tonight, I was thinking to myself like about the different doubts I have in my abilities and things I need to work on and things I need to improve upon. And um, it's an important thing to have, but it's also important to remember that you, you are a person, you're allowed to have flaws, you're allowed to make mistakes, and to be able to accept those and move forward past those, and at the same time not forget, but, it, but also leave them in the past and leave them alone to be what they were. Um, to constantly better yourself and become a better person each and every day in your own eyes and not necessarily in the eyes of others, but just for yourself and for who you are and who you want to be. I go next. I go next. <laughs> Alright, so about the self-doubt one, I am it's easy for me, because the way that I see it is I'm 100% confident that none of us are qualified to be up here. <laughs> we do the absolute best we can, and we've been learning a lot, and like if you watch the, the panel, we were talking about this, if you watch the panel where we announced the first tours and we did some improv, it's like, when we did that, we were kind of like, they laughed. <laughs> and now, now when we watch that, it's kind of like, they laughed. They laughed. <laughs> My closing statement, I usually think too, is we're we're doing the best we can, but we are absolutely like the only reason we're allowed to be up here is because of you. Because because if we took well, if we took our current skills and went to like a producer or a TV person or whatever, and we were like, look at this show idea we have, they would be like, that is awful. <laughs> but because you buy tickets to things like this and you support us, you watch our videos, you follow us on YouTube and wherever we go. People let us do this because they don't believe us, but they believe all of you, the community, is like, let them try, and they let us try. So thank you so much, and uh... <laughs> you have no idea how much we appreciate that, how much confidence that gives us, because we're awful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna self-doubt thing. Uh, I've been doing YouTube for the past five years, and my channel really didn't start to kick up until I moved out to LA, which is almost a year ago at this point, which is really weird to think about. Um, but uh, there were a lot of times because uh, I had an old channel that reached uh, like 24K and then I restarted 
uh, and then I got back up to 5,000 right before I moved out to LA. Um, and so there were a lot of times throughout those like four years where I was just like, ooh, I really want to do this thing, but oh boy, it is a slow moving train. <laughs> um, and I, I think that's really important, like, no matter what you're doing, like, things take time. Um, and things don't happen right away. So if you want to do something uh, and you're not quite there yet, just know that it takes time. Just because it's not happening right away doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. You know, so it may take you your whole life, but if you stop trying, then it's never going to happen. Aww, and then if you yeah, have something that you love and you give up on it, then later down the line, it's just like, hmm, maybe something could have happened, but I'll never know because I can wait. So if you have something that you love, you know, if you work super hard at something, I totally believe that if you work hard and you're in it for the right reasons and you love it, then you can achieve what you want to do. So just keep going and keep trying. Self-doubt is something that I, I mean, I've dealt with it my whole life, from the time I was a kid until now. Uh, when I was very young, my parents split, and you know, whenever you're young, you don't understand. You think, what did I do wrong? Uh, my dad passed away when I was 11, my grandma passed away a few years later. My aunt, I don't know where you're at out there, but my aunt's here in the audience today. Uh, and when my grandma passed away, my aunt stepped in, and my grandma's one of the most encouraging, kind-hearted people I've ever known, or even ever imagined knowing. Um, and it breaks my heart every day that she doesn't, that she never got to meet Molly. She doesn't get to see what we're doing here today. And uh, knowing that my aunt is here, gets to see this live, and is a part of my life, it, it really uplifts me. Because there's a few constant, the constants in life that help eliminate the self-doubt. And that's that we have your guys' support. Uh, I've got Molly's love, and she's the love of my life. And uh, these guys are some of my best friends, and I couldn't be happier doing what I'm doing for you guys here today. So whenever I feel self-doubt, I look to those constants, and they help support me, they help get me through. Uh, I'm trying really hard to keep it together. Ethan broke me yesterday with a really great speech. Do you need a hug? I think deep down we'll always have some self-doubt, but I think that's a good thing, because like Mark said, as long as you, if you feel completely confident with what you're doing, then you're not growing, you're not trying new things, you're not experimenting, you're just stagnant. But if you have that self-doubt, you can use that as a tool to better yourself, to look at, well, why do I have self-doubt? What is it that I'm not doing to the best of my ability? What can I do better? And that's not to say you look at yourself like, I'm not good enough. You just say, I can be better. It's a much more positive outlook on that. And each and every one of you is capable of doing that. You're all amazing people. Five years ago, we were all on the side that you're at right now. You know, we weren't anybody. We're still not. We're just here because of you. So, if you guys have self-doubt, look in the mirror and say, well, so do my idols. We all do. But, I can do anything I want to. And whenever an opportunity presents itself, I was working, I was planning on going to law school. Bob did go to law school. I was working at an eye institute. I was working at a gas station. But any time something I thought I might like a little bit more came along, I jumped and tried it. And eventually that led me here. You guys can all do that too. So just remember that. Yeah. To summarize, I know some of you out there think that we're everything to you. It's really the opposite. You guys are everything to us. And we're everything to you. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Security people, Bill, Ben, all the sound engineers, lighting 